Hi there, this is Teresa. This is going to be an All Signs General Collective reading. We are going to take a look and see who is talking about you and what are they saying. Are they going to take any action if they're talking about you? Are they going to tell you what they're talking to other people about you for? We're going to go Aries through Pisces. So first, Aries, let's take a look at you. Who's talking about you and why? Okay, Aries, this is your twin flame. This is somebody who is very opposite of you. This is somebody who maybe was not truthful and authentic with knowing that there was a soul connection between the two of you. Maybe they told other people that you always said you were twin flames together, but they never really believed that. And they're telling people that. They're telling people now that it wasn't real. We were never twin flames. We're not soulmates. And that they were really just stringing you along. So let's find out, Aries, why are they telling people this? Okay, they're, they're telling people this because you walked away from them. Yeah, there's this in separation here. This person is gaining the truth and the clarity that you are done with them and they are very hurt by it. They are very bent because you broke up with them, you no longer wanna be with them and they are telling people this because they're being selfish. They don't wanna be honest that you actually walked away from this person. This hurts this person's ego and pride. All right, Taurus, let's see who is talking about you and why. What are they saying? Okay, Taurus, somebody who is very tempted by you is wanting to get back on track with you. This is an ex, somebody that you have disconnected from. They want to start over. They are telling people that they are so wanting to be with you. They know that it's not right. Maybe it was a very toxic relationship between the two of you. Maybe you were just on opposite spectrums. You couldn't get on the same page, but they still want to be with you. They don't care. So let's see, why are they telling people this? Okay, because you're in separation. They've had a lot of fear and anxiety and they've had a lot of immaturity, but they desire you. They're telling people this because they're trying to secretly manifest you and they feel like the more they talk about it, the more they're going to manifest you back together. Gemini, let's find out who's talking about you and why are they talking about you, Gemini? Okay, Gemini, somebody is all in their head. They, <laughs> this is somebody who is not, not wanting you to know that they are thinking about or even talking about you. They're waiting to see if you are actually going to reach out to them. They are waiting to see if you will just unexpectedly reach out to them. And they're talking about you because they're hoping that through the grapevine, it will get back to you and that you'll then call them or reach out to them. So they're hoping that it's going to work by kind of like the, what's that game phone where you relay the message to someone's ear and they say it to the next person and eventually it gets back to somebody and whether it's the truth or not, that's what they're hoping will happen. So let's find out why. Okay. You walked away from this person because they were not committal. This person gave you no hope, no faith that anything was going to grow within this connection. So you disconnected from them. This person is hoping that you'll come back around, that you'll change your mind, that maybe you've thought long and hard about this connection and that you're bored being single and you'll want to come back to them. But they want you to take action. They're not trying to take action. So they can tell everybody that you came back to them. Cancer. Let's see who's talking about you and why. Cancer, you got a toxic ex who doesn't have the greatest intentions. This is somebody who needs to grow up, basically. This is a very low vibrational person. They lied a lot. They had a lot of secrets. There was probably a lot of red flags that you chose to ignore repeatedly with this person. Well, they're talking about you. The reason why they're talking about you is because they're hurt. They're telling everybody that they're letting you go or they let you go when actually you're the one who broke up with them. They're secretly hoping that you're going to reach out to them, that this person's the villain and they're telling everybody that you know they broke up with you when that's actually not the truth that you're the one who let them go but they're still hoping that somehow some way that you will still love them 
and that you'll really want to still be with them and that you'll actually open up communication. Yeah, they're waiting for it. They're waiting for you to reach out to them. Okay, Leo, let's find out who is talking about you and why are they talking about you? Okay, Leo, somebody sees you're in the spotlight. They see that you two maybe were supposed to be a power couple. Maybe you've been losing weight, changed your hair, you're working out, you're looking really good. And this is your ex talking about you. They see you have really glowed up since the two of you have been in separation. And they're very nostalgic and sad. And they're talking about how great you look to everyone around them. So let's see, why are they telling everybody? Okay, they desire to be with you. They're hurt and sad and devastated. And they are holding back, but they are trying to manifest you. So that's why they're secretly talking about you to everyone and anyone who will listen. And people are probably over it, tired of listening to this person. But this person desires to be with you. They see you as the full package. Like, look here. This person feels like if the two of you were to come back together, you could be this power couple, this high profile couple. So that's why they're talking about you. They want to be with you again. Virgo. Virgo, who's talking about you and why are they talking about you? Let's find out. Okay, Virgo, somebody is really t wanting to lay all the cards on the table. This is somebody who doesn't know what the future holds. This is somebody who is in a lot of pain because they worry that this is completely over that this you've completely cut them off there is no more that you're not even open or receptive to receiving anything that this person would have to say this person's in a lot of pain they want to try to fight for this and they're talking to people around them to ask their opinion of what they should do yeah they're doing this because they're not happy they want to express and open up communication that they're in a lot of pain and they still love you and they want to have a new beginning they want to start over and they know it's a risk to even come towards you but they have a lot of love and they can't let go of the love. They've tried to cut it out. They've tried to stop thinking about you or stop loving you. And they can't. And so that's why they're talking about it. They're asking people, what do they do? Or how do they overcome this? And they want to just reach out and express these feelings. Libra. Who's talking about Libra and why? Okay, Libra, this is somebody that maybe you had intimacy with that you work with too. It could be a coworker or someone who put in a lot of work with this connection that you've maybe ran from this connection. This person's been talking about maybe that you ran from the connection after the two of you were intimate together. And this is somebody who is telling people this because they're trying to let it go, but they have a little bit of feelings and emotions for you. This is something that maybe when they ran from you, they were unhappy with what was going on in their life. Maybe they had a lot of other things that were happening and they chose to ignore you because they had too many other things, too many other fires in their life that they needed to deal with. But this person does have feelings and emotions. They think about starting over with you and that's why they're talking about you because they can't seem to let it go. They can't overcome it because they're still focused on possibly putting Putting in the work and the effort for this connection. Scorpio, let's see who's talking about you and why. Way too many. We're just going to take three. Okay, Scorpio, this is somebody you work with, one of your coworkers. Somebody around you um, is strategizing. They're they're looking at you as somebody who maybe is really blessed on the financial aspect. Maybe you took a position that was higher ranking or higher pay, higher than this person. And this person is talking to everybody around at work that, how did you get that job? Why did you get it? Why did you qualify for it? Maybe you didn't have enough experience or you didn't have as much as this other person. And this person is feeling like maybe you like sucked up to the boss and got the job or you strategized somehow by doing it, by being clever. Like you snuck your way into the position. Not that you truly didn't already deserve it because you totally did. But this person, yeah, this person is a fool. They, they lack the communication to let you know that they don't have any opportunities. They don't have the potential that you do. They're not you. And this is somebody who has really held themselves back in 
pursuing any options or higher ranking positions or better positions within the company. And you have, and that's why this person's talking about you to other people because they're jealous. They're jealous of your success and everything around you. And they feel like you had to do something in order to get it when you didn't. You really just maybe applied and you deserved it because you put in the work and you're recognized for that. So you got the position and this person is jealous of that. And they are jealous of themselves because they've held themselves back from maybe they've been with the company longer than you and they've never really pursued anything. They've never taken any action to do anything to progress themselves. So that's why they're talking about you. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see who's talking about you and why. Uh-oh, Sagittarius, something's brewing. Is this a karmic connection? Somebody you have children with? Okay, this person's talking about you. They are on the verge of telling you something. What are they about to tell you? Why? They, okay, there's your communication. They're stuck in their head. They're feeling vulnerable and anxious. What did you do to this person? Okay, they're in this introspection mode. They wanna come out of introspection mode. But this person's telling people around you, maybe you share children with this person. Maybe this person feels that this is a karmic connection between the two of you that has not fully completed its cycle. And this person is telling people that they're they're being honest that you know you're just a karmic connection and the two of you maybe act like friends and try to support each other but really you trigger each other and there's something within the connection that the two of you have never fully learned about yourselves and that's the whole reason karmics come together so this person is telling people how you trigger them and how you they trigger you and how there's constantly this fighting and how the two of you can never get on the same page and they're just being honest with it and talking about it. All right, Capricorn, let's see who's talking about you and why. Who are they talking about Capricorn? Okay, Capricorn, it looks like it's an ex that you did not value. This person is telling people that it's over that you never appreciated them, you never gave to them, you took them for granted, they are done, c'est la vie, it's over, permanent ending, never again. Why are they talking about you? Okay, because they want you back, Capricorn. They wanna come back, they wanna come back, try to reverse what's already done, they wanna try to fix what's happened, they know there's a struggle, they know there's a shift that has to happen and a major change. So they're talking to people around them, trying to figure out how could Capricorn and I come together and Capricorn value me because Capricorn didn't value me in the past. So they're telling everybody that it's over, but yet they're asking for advice of, do you think that Capricorn would ever change? Do you think Capricorn would ever step up and really value me the way I need to be? And everyone around this person is telling them, Get over it, move on. Capricorn is standing their ground. That's Capricorn, that's how they are. All right, Aquarius, who's talking about you and why? Okay, Aquarius, one of your exes is gossiping about you. They're having a lot of remorse, a lot of regrets. They heard rumors maybe that you have moved on, that you're talking to someone else, you're dating someone else, you're already in another relationship. And this person is wanting to undo the damage they did. They are feeling guilty. They still love you. They have a lot of love for you. And this is somebody who is thinking about contacting you to apologize and trying to mend the, the relationship. They wanna confess all these feelings and emotions that they're having. And that's why they're telling people this, that they are talking to people about, do you think I should go towards Aquarius? I know I heard they're with somebody else. Maybe they have a family with somebody else now. Yeah, this person wants to unveil all of these feelings and emotions. They thought their happily ever after was gonna be with you. So this is somebody who is seeing things from a different perspective now. They maybe were confused, maybe they lied to themselves about truly how much love they actually felt for you. And now they're, they're talking to people, telling people like, I don't know what to do. Like, I act like I don't care. I know that I created a lot of obstacles in this, this connection and maybe played a lot of head games, but ultimately they want to be with you, Aquarius, in the long term. Okay, Pisces, let's see who's talking about you and why. Who's talking about Pisces? Uh, 
Okay, Pisces, somebody is super angry. They have a lot of resentment. Okay, this is your first love. This is somebody who you first said I love you to in a romantic form with this person. This is somebody who feels like a fool. They feel like they didn't take this connection serious. They acted like a clown. They played games, they played tricks. And they're telling people they're angry at themselves for doing that, that they should have never messed up this connection. They should have never mistreated you and the love you had. Yeah, this person is very hurt and vulnerable. They want to try to give some type of stability now. They feel like it was fated the two of you met and they want to try to change the outcome. They want to evolve and move forward. They know things will never be the way they were in the past, but they want to try to change it and start over. They want to give some type of stability to this connection because they're hopelessly devoted to this connection and they feel like a fool from the past and they no longer want to feel that way they want to let go of those things and let go of their guard and not be so stubborn they they don't want to have this lack of trust or lack of compromise because they are angry with themselves for the way they mistreated you and the connection and now they're wanting to change it they want to focus on stability and structure and they want to try to come towards you and let you know that they feel like it was faith that the two of you met and that it is a destined connection